leaf modification. In this module, you will learn about leaf modification. Modification means a structural change due to functional needs. Let us learn about the different leaf modifications in details. In plants, the various types of leaf modifications are leaf tendrils, leaf spines, and phyllodes. Leaf tendrils. When a leaf is modified into a thin, thread like, wiry, coiled structure, it is called as a leaf tendril. It helps in climbing. For example, wild pea and glory lily. When a leaf is modified into pointed spines for defensive purpose, it is called as a leaf spine. For example, burberries and prickly poppy. When the petiole becomes flattened and green, it reduces the process of evaporation from the plant body. Such structures are called phyllod. For example, Australian acacia. Some plants grow in infertile soil, deprived of nitrogen, which is essential for protein formation and growth. Such plants trap and digest insects for their protein requirement. These plants are called insectivorous plants. For example, pitcher plant, bradder wort, and Venus flytrap. Pitcher plant. The leaf is modified into a pitcher to trap insects. The anterior part of the petiole is coiled like a tendril that holds the pitcher in an erect position. The leaf apex forms the leaf. Once the insect enters in the pitcher through the opening, it slips downwards and the lid closes. The insect is digested by the various enzymes or juices. Bladder wort. The leaves are highly segmented and modified into sacs called bladders. The bladder has a trap door in which minute organisms can only go in but cannot come out. It is seen in an aquatic plant, Utricularia. Venus fly trap. In this, the edge of the leaf have long pointed, stiff hair. The leaf blade is divided into two parts and the midrib acts as a hinge. When any insect is caught by the leaf, the edges of the leaf interlock. This prevents the escape of the insect. The plant secretes juices which digests the insect. 